Ukraine, actually, and she just used to teach me to shake my head and say, Dimakara! Dimakara! That was her. Um, so, my name's Damien Merlina. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My arm got ripped off in a car accident. My little brother went to jail because of that. My grandma had two strokes and then she died. My sister just called me and told me she's addicted to heroin. The really great news is I just saved a lot of money by switching to Guy Auto Insurance, everybody. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, like, if you could be serious for a second, when I stand like this, does it make me look like I have two arms? Because I'm thinking about doing some internet dating. And my headline is just going to be like, three out of four ain't bad. You know? Um, <laughs> or if I'm on Craigslist, it's just going to be hand jobs half off. Um, but, you know, you know when you're like when you're a little girl and your mom's like, if you're a good girl, mommy's gonna give you a cookie. If you're a good girl, mommy's gonna get you some ice cream. Then you grow up and you're fat and like everybody's mad. And I'm so I don't know what you guys see when you look at me. When I look in the mirror, I just see a really good girl. You know? like, I see a super good girl. And incidentally, like if people are sad that you're fat, all you have to do is tell them that you used to have been fatter, and then they'll be proud of you. Like, I used to weigh 500 pounds, and they're like, oh my god, Damien, you look amazing! Wow, how did you do it? <laughs> it's really, like, um, once, like, I always do look like I have two arms when I stand like this, and I got pulled over by the police, and he, like, came walking up to my car, and he was like, I know you're not texting and driving! And I was like, you know correctly. <laughs> like, please give me a ticket right now. Because then I'm gonna have to go into court and they're gonna like swear me in. They're gonna be like, right hand to God. I'm gonna be like, it's already there. It's already there, you guys. You know how they say that every fat girl has a skinny girl trapped inside? I found mine and she sounds like this. I'm gonna do the rest of my set like this! You guys will just have to try and understand what I'm saying the whole time. So I was one of the voices in Grand Theft Auto, which just involved a lot of cussing. This is a family show, so we're not gonna do that. But I can just do like a lot of different crazy voices. Like sometimes I meet people and I just pretend to be English for the entire time. On the internet dates, as a matter of fact. <laughs> like I'll switch and I'll go, oh guess what guys, I'm Scottish now. That's fine. That's lovely. Oh, thank you. She likes Scottish people. That's good. Uh, you never know who's gonna like Scottish people. They're shady. No, they're not. They're lovely people. Um, so, do you guys know who Rosie Perez is from White Man Can't Jump? Yeah. yeah. She's like, Stop it, Billy! I don't want you to give me any water! I want you to walk water! I'm going to be in the room saying they let a queue! Fools, we let a queue for 500, please! What is queer? It's what is queer? What is a quag? I bet nobody cares. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to sing a song like this! I'm going to die! That's why! That's why! That's why! I've had a lot of different jobs. And you know, when you like on the job application, it's all like, why are you, why are you no longer at this job? And I always like to write down change in management. It was, it was the same manager, just that there was a change. Like when I first worked here, he was pretty cool. Now he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> just a little change, guys. Uh, and people like, I don't know, with the with the little one arm. Like I have a one arm ninja here, you guys. Okay, like. For the kids, okay? It's good. Like, I'm like, it's like Nemo. It's my lucky fin. It's okay. But, um, but people, like, I sometimes, like, my friends, like, when I ask a girlfriend to put my hair in a ponytail for me, and she's like, she's like, it's not straight. Your ponytail is crooked. And I'm like, look, if one person comes up to me and says, hey, one arm girl, your ponytail is crooked. I'll give you a hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Like, there's just no way that that is gonna happen. That's never, ever gonna happen. Um, so, are you guys having fun here at the Burbank Comedy Festival? Yeah. Did you all come out? Like, I told them that Rajiv and his family are making like a comedy legacy. Like, when does that ever happen? That there's like a mom, a dad, and two kids in comedy. You know, that's just how that goes. It's pretty awesome. Um, you know, I was just outside before I came up here, and I ran inside and came on stage, and that's what's happening right now, you guys. So... Um, okay, so... Man, my... I can't do it, you guys. I can't. All my jokes are dirty! I'm a terrible person. Um, 
man. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat it and I'm gonna get out of here. Like this was <laughs> this, I hope you like it. I got fired from the airport, you guys. I hope you like it. Alright, have a nice night. Thank you.